After you lay down your duct tape strips and you use the ruler to cut all of these into a grid, I use a template or you can just eyeball it and you can cut these 45 degree angles out of your pieces. Um, as long as you're beyond the halfway point and it's a 45 degree cut, it doesn't really matter how big that is. So you take this, peel it up, and because you lay down the roll this way, you want to be folding it so that these horizontal lines lay on top of each other. Just line up the edges. Once that's done, you fold this one in half for a crease. Then you fold up to that fold. Fold it in half again. And now this little tab can be closed over. Now you have your little triangle and you want to smash it so it's 90 degrees. And this should be measured out just enough to where this edge will be touching the rim of the inside of your blowgun piece. So I take some scissors and start off with a slight curve and go outside of that edge and then go back onto it again this little curve. When you fold it back the other way, it should hopefully line up. Then on the other side, cut off maybe three-eighths to a quarter of an inch, depending on what size nail you want to use. Take one of your nails, put it inside of the cone, pull it all the way. Not too tight because you don't want to stretch the duct tape. That should be pretty much finished start. And you take your barrel material, and you test how tightly it fits. If it's just enough that you have to push it in slightly, and since the duct tape's flexible, it'll have a nice hold on there, and it'll keep it from falling down the barrel. So then all you have to do now is take the cone back out, put some hot glue on there, pull it up, and it's completed.